YouTube, yes sir, we are back with another video. Hopefully you guys had that good quality time with your family, your kids, your pets, your relatives, your close ones, whatever the case might be. Give that time back to yourself. Y'all deserved it. Y'all putting all this work on the weekday. So don't let nobody tell you that you don't deserve it. You know, if nobody ever told you that you deserve the weekend off for your family, your kids, your pets, let me be the first to tell you, all right? So before we get into this video, if y'all haven't known, I do have a clothing brand. It's called Superstar. You know, we launched, well, we didn't even launch it, but we have been working on it for the past month and a half and i did get the samples from our supplier yesterday so i want to be the first one to show you guys and actually you guys will be the first one to see our samples so you know y'all have any questions about it any ideas on what what y'all think i could do better on it for our next drop or our future drops comment down below and let me know all right but let's get into the video man i want to show y'all the three shirts that we have that we'll be dropping on our first drop our first shirt is going to be a brown acid wash vintage oversized it is our logo on the left chest, right? And on the back, we have Superstar class of its own. Drippy, drippy, yes, sir. The next shirt we got is a black acid wash vintage oversized as well. It is thick with our left, uh, left logo chest, right? And on the back, we have the Superstar going all the way down, fading out. Yes, sir. And our third shirt we got um, is class of its own, right? Beat the odds. So we do have the class of its own on the front and on the back we have beat the odds H-Town Yes, sir. You already know where we're from. We're from H-Town, baby Yes, sir. So let's get into the video As you guys see this video is gonna be about when day trading finally clicked, right? So there's three things That really helped me understand what day trading really is and how it helped me grow from Just just being someone that loses in the market to becoming a profitable trader, right? So for one you gotta understand what kind of trader you are. Are you a swing trader? Are you a scalper? Are you an intraday trader, right? That's very important because if you don't know this important fact about day trading is day trading has a lot to do with your personality, right? A trading style has a lot to do with how you are as a person, right? So if you have patience, if you can handle your emotions, go learn how to be a swing trader because you're most likely holding your trade for long, right? If you don't have patience and you wanna make your money as fast as you can, Go be a scalper because you're on the lower time frame. You're trying to make your money as fast as you can. You're not waiting for these one hour, four hour daily candles to print. You know what I mean? Or for intraday, if you're okay with holding your trade throughout the day, throughout the session, but not holding it for weeks, then go, go learn how to do that. Find whatever your trading style is, find whatever that fits your personality and go look at a mentor. Go find a mentor that specializes in whatever trading style you do or you wanna do and go learn from them. You know what I mean? Do not go watching 10 different traders, 10 different strategies, because what that's really gonna do is put you back to square one because now you're consuming too much information. You know what I mean? The second thing is understand that this is not a get rich scheme, right? You gotta put in the work. This is a long-term game. Trading is a long-term game. Your goal is to be in the game as long as you can. You do not wanna blow your account. You do not wanna over, over leverage your account. You know, you gotta understand that you are gonna make the money that you wanna make but it takes time, it takes patience. Keep putting the work, keep growing your trading account, you know, keep compounding your account. That's the point of this game is to compound your account. If you have 50,000, $100,000, cool, go put that into a trading account, right? Are you okay to lose that money? You are, then okay, go trade with that. But your goal is if you don't have that capital, compound your account, take small wins at a time, and eventually you're gonna grow your account to where you can start doing bigger lot size, right? Taking bigger wins, gaining bigger profits, right? But it starts from square one. You gotta understand, it's a long-term game and you gotta constantly put in the work, constantly put in the time to understand that, okay, cool. If I keep putting in this time for a certain amount of time, I will eventually get to where I wanna be. I will eventually start making $1,000 a day. I will eventually start making $5,000 a day. I will eventually start making 10K a month by just trading, you know what I mean? So understand that this is not a get rich scheme and that it's all a long-term game, you know what I mean? Don't come in here expecting you're gonna get rich overnight because that's not gonna happen. Let me be the first one to tell you, you're not gonna get rich tomorrow if you start learning how to trade today. That's impossible, you know what I mean? And the third thing is keeping your chart as simple as possible. You do not wanna trade with all these indicators on your chart, you know what I mean? If you go on YouTube and you look up how to trade Forex or whatever, you're gonna see people using three, four, five, six indicators. You can see how messy their chart looks. You do not wanna be that person because at the end of the day, you're not gonna see how these candles are printing. You're not gonna see how the price is moving. You're not gonna understand 
the levels, you know, should I take prices, should I buy it from here to this level, you know what I mean? You can't see that because your chart is covered with these indicators, you know what I mean? So once I realized that keeping my chart as simple as possible with one to two indicators max, that really helped me a lot with being profitable because now I can see price, I can see what candles are doing, you know, I can understand, okay, this is how it's moving, this, this, this is support, this is my next resistance, this, this is where a lot of people are buying, this is where there's a lot of buying pressure, whatever the case might be, keeping your chart as simple as possible is gonna let you see so much more than having five, six indicators on your chart. Because half of the time, you're not gonna know what these indicators mean, and what, what is that gonna cause you to do? That's gonna cause you to go back on YouTube, go back to wherever you learn, and then start learning about these different indicators. And where does that put you at? That puts you back to square one, you know what I mean? So understand that the simpler the chart, the easier it is to read, and the easier it is for you to understand, okay, cool. If I take a trade here, I'm expecting to get out here, right? Do not rely on these indicators because most of the time, in my opinion, I feel like indicators are, are there to make you lose money. They're there to make you confused. They're there to make you go back and learn and start over from scratch. You know what I mean? So keep your chart as simple as possible. Whatever you think works for you, right? Keep it that way. You know what I mean? Don't go at these extra indicators because it's not going to help you. Eventually, all it's going to do is put you back to square one. And then you're going to eventually try to go find a new YouTuber, try to go find a new trader and try to learn from someone else. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. So keep your chart as simple as possible. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys, man. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from this video. You know, comment down below what you guys think about the merch. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know um, when we're going to be officially dropping. Hopefully by the end of this month or the beginning of January. So y'all stay tuned for that. Peace.